Okay, let's look at this. We got f of x equal to, and we've got, you know, 2x cubed minus 3x minus 33. We want to find f of 7, and then we're going to use that in a, another calculation. So on this calculator, I'm going to type in the expression, put a 2 on the stack, put x, we're going to cube it, so I put a 3 here and then hit this to cube it, multiply, so I'm just building it. You could just type it in straight, but I, I don't know which is better. So here, this is a little more old school. So now I got that, and now I'm going to subtract that from the thing above it, and then I've got a 33, and I got to subtract it. So there's our expression. I've got some, some shortcuts set up here. Um, one of them just goes straight to the solver. So it takes that equation, stores it, and then takes me into the solver. And I can put in the value 7 for x, and then say, well, what's the expression equal? 632. Well, isn't that nice? Now, to use that number, all I in, in this calculation here, I can do 1 half 0.75, multiply those together. Actually, if I was smart, I would have squared it first, but I'll show you. I need to square that 632, so I'm going to swap. It swaps the items that are on the stack. Square that item. My square is shifted, which is a little annoying, but anyway, square it, and then multiply. So there's our final answer. But it's really easy to use that answer in a future calculation. Now, let's do the same thing on our prime. We got old, we got new. And I'm going to go just to this menu here. And, oh, actually, I want to go to the solver menu. So I'm going to go to apps. We'll save that for later. We're going to go to the solve menu. Go into the solver. Um, type it in. Two, you got to do times x to the 3. So this is algebraic or infix notation where you just type it in like a more modern calculator. Um, ah, pretty sad, forget where the x is that quickly. Okay, so type it in, hit enter. I'm going to uncheck that formula. I only want this one checked. Well, the problem is there actually, I forgot one thing. There's no way to that I know of to get the expression without putting y equals or to solve for the value of that. So I'm going to do alpha pick a y and then put an equal sign using the touch screen there. Okay, now it's on the stack. Now I can go in and hit this number and if I want to know the value of y is when f is 7, I put a 7 in for x and then with the y highlighted I hit solve. 632. Now, what if I want to use that in this calculation here and go to my home and we'll do 0.5. We could do a half, but, you know, I happen to know that 0 0.5 is the same as a half. You know, props to my fifth grade teacher, whoever that was. And um, that taught me, that is. I know who my fifth grade teacher was. One of my favorites ever. Shout out to Mr. Gorman. And anyway, uh, we want to use that value. It's like, but how do you get it? It's not that terrible. You just do alpha. It was stored in y, and we need to square it. But it's not quite as convenient. I like the way that the uh, old school does that. That's it.